wow. It, it just seems like woke SJW Disney never learns their lesson, do they? Never learning that the definition of insanity is trying to say anything over and over and expecting different results. This is seen in their recent Snow White remake. They're uh, just this, these endless soulless remakes they're doing, butchering their own franchises, butchering their own animated classics. But these leaks came out, and uh, it's cringe to say the least. It's just another SJW politically correct butchering of a historic, you know, a classic they made that was really popular, you know, part of many childhoods. It says here on the Daily Mail, exclusive Snow White and the Seven Politically Correct Companions, first pictures of new live-action remake of Disney classic shows Standing Princess walking around diverse band of married men and women after Roe using dwarf, or after Roe overusing dwarf actors. Yeah, and the pictures of this are hilarious too. It says in the article, Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to the job center they go. The, for the seven dwarves have been replaced by magical creatures for Disney's live action remake of Snow White. The character of the fictional princess, who will be played by Rachel Zegler in the film, has been pictured for the first time with her new companions who appear to be a mix of genders, ethnicities, and heights. <laughs> uh, the actress wearing Snow White's famous red, blue, uh, red, sorry, red, yellow, and blue dress and red cape is trailed. Sorry, is trailed by the group who are dressed in brightly colored clothes carrying work tools. They were spotted shooting scenes in Bedfordshire on on uh, Thursday and pictures obtained exclusively by the Mail Online. Now Disney has since come out and tried to say, oh, they're fake. Well, that's been proven wrong since then. The scenes pictured here show two standing extras who were used to film additional photography. Disney announced that they are magical creatures to replace the seven dwarves to avoid referencing stereotypes. After Game of Thrones actor Peter Dinklage, I think that's how you say his name, criticized, uses profanity, I'm not going to say it. Basically this backwards story, apparently from the, you know, yeah, it's backwards, apparently. <laughs> uh, it says, I was a little taken back when Disney uh, were very proud to cast a Latina actress as Snow White. Latina actress as Snow White. Um... Why is she called Snow White? Because the original fairy tale is literally describing her as white as snow. But we gotta race swap all the characters to pander to the, what's it called, the Afrocentrist type thing. Um, this is this is why it flops, okay? This is why The Little Mermaid, this is why The Little Mermaid live action remake uh, flopped. Because you're basically butchering a childhood classic of many, of many uh, people to pander to this new woke, you know, type of ideology bunch of garbage but it says the, the latina actress the seven dwarves told mark marion's uh, wtf podcast it makes no sense to me you're the progressive so you're progressive in one and you're still making that effing backwards story about seven dwarves living in a cave together what the f are you doing man uh have i done nothing to advance the cause sorry the cause from my soapbox i guess i'm not loud enough disney bosses came under fire for giving tutelier to get for giving their role to zegler despite the story being about a traditionally fair German princess. The film, which also stars the Wonder Woman star Gal Gadot, as the Gal Gadot, I think I say his name, as the evil stepmother, is set to be released in March of 2024. <laughs> yeah, let's see how well that does at the box office. You know, it, it's like, I, I, I mean, I, I've said it before, but just like you're doing the same thing over and over again, and it flops every single time, and they just keep doing it. It's like, you, no wonder they're losing money. It says in the article, co written by Barbie's Greta. Gerwig, the upcoming adaptation will not feature a Prince Charming, but will instead f uh, focus on a stronger Snow White who dreams of becoming a leader. Oh, wonderful. Feminism on top of that. Ms. Segler, who previously addressed reports of the film, was trying to be politically correct, claiming the story was neither refreshing. Uh, she said, people were making these jokes be about ours being a PC Snow White because, yeah, it was needed, you know, because it needed that. Our version is a refreshing story about a young woman who has a function beyond someday my prince will come. The Colombian-American actress faced scrutiny by some critics after she was cast as Snow White, who was described as having, having skin white as snow. Um, she, uh, in a since deleted tweet, she says, Yes, I am Snow White. I am not bleaching my skin for the role. Disney's 1937 animated film follows Snow White as she befriends the seven dwarves while hiding in her wicked, from her wicked stepmother, who later poisons her with an apple before Prince Charming wakes her from her slumber with a kiss. It's loosely based on the 1812 fairy tale of uh, the same name by the Brothers Grimm. And I'd imagine that the Brothers Grimm and Walt Disney are both spinning in their graves at this point. <laughs> yeah. Well, so we have another... Um, so-called live-action remake. You can't really call it a remake. It's more just simply a reimagining for the modern times, which is just butchering a childhood classic, you know. And then, you know, it's obviously going to fail. It's, get, it's already getting backlash. Once, once these images hit the internet, <laughs> um, the memes were hilarious, to say the least. But, you know, they're going to keep doing this. They're going to keep losing money. 
and they're gonna wonder why, but it's like it's blatantly obvious, you know. It's 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 changing history, changing all this other stuff to pander to this new audience that you know apparently is not buying, the, is not paying to see the film because it's flopping at the box office every time they try doing this. So, you know, just another example of how they just don't learn that insanity is keep doing the same thing and expecting different results. And here's actually some of the funny pictures of this alleged remake. Um, it's funny because it, it's the seven dwarves. Only one of them, one of them is an actual dwarf. The rest of them are just normal sized people dressed in like essentially costumes you could get from like Dollarama or something. Yeah. So these so-called dwarves or sorry, magical creatures to be politically correct are you know just marching around. Then you have the let you know the um, Latina actress playing the uh, German character. You know, I mean, the images of the thing are just hilarious to say the least. Uh, and of course, Disney, like I said, came out and tried to say, well, it's not real, it's fake. But that's been proven wrong since then. And this is allegedly, this is not allegedly, this is what is the uh, so called remake of Snow White. Yeah. Well, it's going to fail, the, it's going to fail at the box office and to nobody's shock except for Disney because they keep doing this and they wonder why they're losing billions of dollars. I mean, they lost over, they lost billions of dollars in just 2022 alone. So, another uh, woke SJW failure by Disney. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.